So let's say that 50% of service calls that are new customers get converted to service agreements. And let's assume for a moment that that's an arbitrary number that is your standard for your company. If the employee is hitting 35%, I'm going to review that and I'm going to start asking questions in the review process. You know, why do you feel that you're at 35%? The standard is 50. So we're going to have conversations about constructive development based on accurate pieces of information that were known in advance because we had a role description and expectation form prepared because we all downloaded those documents and made sure we put them in place in our business. So that being said, the review process supports the idea that we want the employee to know this is the standard and we need to help them get to that place. So what we have is we have goals, we have metrics, and we have measurement processes that are going to be embedded in the review. So yes, they're here in the role description, but they're also matching in the review process. So there's a consistency there. I gave you a document ahead of time that said, here's what I expect from this position. Comfort advisors, I expect this much closure rate. I expect this, this set of dollars on the average tickets. I expect this mix percentage, you know, so much 21, so much 18, uh, so much 16, so much 14. There's a spread there for each business that is unique. You pick those particular goals. Whatever those are, um, I'm going to pay you a particular way. So as we begin discussing how your performance occurred based on the structure of those goals, we can have that accurate conversation and we can make that very constructive.